Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Well today we're going to be cooking up some shrimp and crawfish etouffee over rice with some blackened catfish. Yes, so you guys let's get off into it. Okay you guys, these are the ingredients that we're going to be using today. I have some chicken broth here, some flour, I have some shrimp haze and shell that we're going to be making a shrimp stock. I have some shrimps right here, some crawfish tail meat, I have some butter, some bay leaf, smoked sausage, minced garlic, I have some celery, bell pepper, onion, and here go our catfish that we're going to be using. Okay, so you guys, let's get started. Okay, you guys, we're about to chop up our celery, onion, and bell pepper, and we're going to be using this to put in our shrimp haze and shell to make our shrimp stock. Okay. Cut up all our celery, bell pepper, and onions. Now we're gonna get ready to make our shrimp stock using these shrimp heads and shell. Okay. Okay, you guys. We're gonna add our shrimp head and shells to the pan. Today we're making a very small stock. Okay, and after we add our shrimp haze and shell we're going to pour in our chicken stock okay and if you don't have chicken stock you also can use water okay and we're going to be adding in here our onions and bell peppers and celery that we cut up okay you guys now that we didn't add our shrimp haze and shells bell peppers onions and celery okay and we are also going to season this with some creole seasoning onion powder garlic powder and black pepper okay now we're about to put in our creole seasoning our onion powder garlic powder and black pepper. Just like this. And you guys, we're going to be cooking this for one hour. So it can get all that delicious flavor from the onions, bell pepper, celery, and our shrimp heads and shrimp shell. So yes, we're going to be cooking this for one hour. Hey you guys, while our stock is rolling, we're about to saute our smoked sausages in a pan. I put in a tablespoon of oil in our pan. And we're going to sear these smoked sausages on each side. Okay, you guys, we sear it on one side, we flip it over. And this is what we're looking for. Okay. And you guys, this is an option. You don't have to put small sashes in your egg touffee. But I chose to put small sashes in it because I like it. But it's option. You can use, you also could use just shrimp instead of crawfish and shrimp. Or you could just use crawfish. And it's still going to be super delicious. Hey you guys, our uh, small sausage is done searing, so we're going to take this out of the pan and set to the side. Okay, 
Okay, you guys, we're about to start on these catfish. I didn't already wash them. Now I'm patting them dried. I'm going to be patting them dry on each side and also seasoning our fish on each side. Make sure you pat, it, pat your fish dry so you can get a good season on them. Okay. Hey, you guys. About to season is catfish, and what I'm using is a blackened fish seasoning. And we're also going to be seasoning it with garlic powder and onion powder and parico. And we're going to do this step on both sides. And if you don't have a blackened fish and fish season. You could just season your fish regular and add parika on it. So you could basically use a Creole season, garlic powder, onion powder, and parika, and, and it would and it will be blackened fish. Okay, and we're going to do the same on this side. Hey guys, our fish is all seasoned front and back. Our shrimp stock is rolling, you guys, and it smells so good. Yes, all them flavor is popping. Yes. Hey you guys, we're going to start off with two tablespoons of butter and a tablespoon of oil. We're about to start on our root okay you guys want our butter melts we're going to be adding our flour to this okay you guys now our butter has melted now we're about to add our half a cup of flour we're gonna whisk this really good together Okay. And you guys, I usually take about 35 to 40 minutes to make a root. But today, we're taking the easy way. And we're going to be using some browning to brown this. Okay, you guys. This is what we're going to be using. It's called Kitchen Bouquet. It's a browning. So we're going to be browning our root with this today because guess what you guys we today is the easy day <laughs> okay and it's still going to be super delicious yes okay we're gonna stir this in very well with our flour and our oil and butter yes this right here took away 40 minutes from our cooking time so that is super great yes so I'm just gonna make sure everything is combined, combined really well together you guys even though we're using a browning we still have to cook it for a few minutes just to get that flour raw taste from it so we'll be cooking it for a few minutes like five six minutes and that's way better than 40 minutes making a root right <laughs> yes okay you guys i had some chopped onions bell pepper and celery we're going to be adding to our root and we're going to be cooking this for a few minutes until they get a little softened okay and we're also going to be adding some minced garlic to this also. We're going to cook this for a few minutes. And then we're going to be adding our minced garlic to this. You guys, we're also going to be adding some red bell pepper that I chopped up. We're going to be using that also in here.
It's going to be delicious, you guys. Okay, now we're adding a tablespoon of minced garlic to the mix. And we also want to cook this for another, like, five minutes. Just to get the flavors all combined together. Okay. Hey you guys, everything is all cooked and binding together with our root. Now we're about to strain our shrimp stock in a strainer. I have a bowl underneath to catch all this deliciousness. Yes, we cooked this for one hour and the smell, you guys, is awesome. Our stock is underneath and we're going to be adding this to our root. So we're going to, going to smash all that down to get the rest of the juices out of the, our shrimp heads and shells and bell pepper and onions. We're just going to mash it down to get all the rest of them juices out. Yes, because that is flavor. Okay, you guys. We're about to add that delicious shrimp stock that we made to our root. Yes, and we're going to be adding our stock really slow. And as we add, we're going to whisk. We're not going to pull all at one time because we cannot take away, but we always can add. So yes, we're going to pour slowly and whisk. Yes, and we're going to whisk really good because we don't want any lumps at all. Okay, so we're going to whisk really good. And we're just going to add and whisk until we get to where we want it to be. Okay. Hey, you guys, our gravy is looking good. I used a cup and a half of that shrimp stock that we made. Now we about to add our smoked sausage that we seared earlier to the mix. Yes. You guys, this smells so good. Yes, and we not even finished. Yes. Okay, you guys, now we're about to add our crawfish tail meat to the mix in the juices with it because that's flavor. Yes, I mix all that up. And like I told you guys earlier, you can use just crawfish and call it a crawfish egg to fade, or you can use shrimp and call it a shrimp egg to fade, or you can use all and just call it a seafood. Okay, we're gonna add our bay leaves to the mix. Yes. That's going to be so good, you guys. Yes. Okay, you guys, we season up a little bit. I use some Creole seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder in here. Yes, and we use some Perigo. Okay, you guys, now we're about to add our shrimp to the mix that we already cleaned the vein. Yes. Hey, you guys, look at this, you guys. It smells so good. We have all our shrimp and smoked fish and crawfish tails. And we have that delicious stock in here. Yes, look at that. I cannot wait, you guys, to eat this because it smells so good. I also taste it, and the flavors is on point. Yes. Hey, 
You guys, we're getting ready to sear our catfish. We're using a tablespoon of oil. We're also going to be using a tablespoon of butter in here. Also, yes. Okay, now our butter melted. We're about to lay our fish fillet down in here, and we're going to be searing this on each side for about five minutes on one side and we're gonna flip it and do it another five minutes on the other side. Back to this delicious egg to fay, you guys. We are done, it's done. Everything is on point. It smells good, tastes good. Yes, cannot read it. I cannot wait to plate this. We are done, you guys. Look how beautiful our fish, yes. So we did this song. We seared it on this side for five minutes and we flipped it over. We seared it on the other side for five more minutes. And you guys, I didn't already plated my rice on the plate. This is definitely going to be over some white rice. Yes. Now we're about to pour that delicious etouffee all around this rice. Yes. Just like this. So we get some of that shrimp, smoked salmon, and crawfish. Yes. Okay, you guys, we're about to add that delicious blackened catfish that we seared right over this rice. Look at that, you guys. This is eating right here. And we're going to put some of that etouffee right over our fish, just like that, that gravy. Guys, yes, you have to try this. It smells so good and tastes so good. Yes. I'm gonna put out some green onions right on top, just like that. I'm going to put out some dried parsley to make it all pretty looking. Yes. Look at this, you guys. This is eating right here. Yes, you definitely have to try this recipe. It's super, super delicious. Yes. And you guys, I'm going into taste. Yes, look at that blackened fish, you guys. Yes, super delicious. Got that rice and gravy with the shrimp. Guys, you have to try when I say it's so good. <laughs> yes, super delicious. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. So you'll never miss another delicious recipe. See you guys next time with another delicious recipe. Goodbye.